Yo guys, man, we're back here for another football pass of football pass, man. You know what? This has to be one of the most anticipated and one of the most hotly debated um, battles that I, I, I think that has been about for all, all season because people have been debating, debating, but I put out polls, we've had discussions back and forth. So you know what? Let's put this battle out. And you know what? Maybe this might be a part one because maybe we may have to do a part two and revisit this. And you know what? I even want to even take this to maybe like a Hope Meets Banter discussion or a, or a different discussion where we can really break down um, both of these keepers and what they do. So, the battle of the keepers, who is the best keeper in the world? So, I wanted to put these guys out there. Ter Stegen, David De Gea, man. Um, many people say De Gea is the undisputed king of being the goalkeepers. Other guys say, no, Ter Stegen is the best goalkeeper out there. But whatever the case may be, we are right here in the football hall to try and break it down to see who, in fact, is the number one keeper. So, we start off first with reflexes which you can pretty much say as shot stopping and i think this is the most fundamental skill for a keeper which is your your basic shot stopping ability what i mean how quick are you to react to shots that are coming at you so reflexes reaction times this for me was the most difficult thing for me to do literally before i did this video i was watching sticking highlights the hair highlights the hair highlights sticking highlights and i was like nah sticking has better reflexes no, 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 De Gea has been re reflexes. No, no, Stigge. No, De Gea. I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This is negligible. And the thing about this is that I actually want to do it as a, as a, a draw, but I can't because we have to have a, a clear winner. Um, both of these guys make impossible saves. People who say De Gea has better reflexes, do you watch La Liga? Because if you watch La Liga, Stegen makes some really ridiculous saves. And people who say Stegen is a, has better reflexes, have you seen all of the saves that De Gea has made? Because De Gea has made some crazy, crazy saves. And the thing about it for me is, what's really decided this for me? Because both of these guys are excellent shot stoppers. Both of these guys have made impossible saves. Amazing saves off the line saves that make you go whoa whoa what the hell wow long range short range fingertip just off the line <clears throat> but the thing that tipped it for me is this keeper i believe from what i have seen again we, we may have to revisit this and this is the, the beauty about this is that well, let's have a discussion i love debates i love debates i love flipping debates i love to have a discussion if we all agreed life would be boring so i love a debate but what pushes over for me was I've seen this keeper make just a little bit more crazier saves than the other keeper. Just a bit more. I'm rolling with the, with the hair. And this one's a push taken. And just as for me, I have to make a decision. I have to make a decision because in my view, it's the same. I, I don't give it to anyone. But I feel the hair only just, only just has made a few more crazier saves, more impossible saves than Stegen. But it is very close because, guys, I'm telling you right now, for people who only watch Premier League and don't really know who, who Stegen is or don't watch any Barcelona games, please, YouTube, it is free. Look at some of the saves that Stegen has made. Specifically, look at his performance against Sevilla. Craziness. So, but for me, I'm rolling with David here with reflexes. 1v1. 1v1. Who is the better at 1v1? Striker is coming down upon you. Which keeper can stand up tall and um, do a better 1v1 save? So I'll be real with you right now. Um, I have seen more evidence of this keeper make 1v1 saves than this other keeper. You know, I've just seen him do more. Doesn't mean that this other keeper isn't also good at making 1v1 saves, but there's more footage and more evidence of this dude making 1v1 saves. And we'll look, I'm rolling with Ter Stegen here because Stegen not only is good at making reflexes when it's 1v1, this guy stands up and can read what the striker is about to do. And whether it's with his hands, with his legs, his fingertips, his toe, he has made some top quality 1v1 saves where he, he knows when to, when to come out and hit the striker. And the other times where he stands his ground, stands up goes up down and makes the right timing so they'll go down and, and make that right save. So for me, in regards to 1v1, because De Gea is also good at 1v1 too. 
I don't see as much evidence of David De Gea's quality. Quality 1v1 saves than Ter Stegen because De Gea has made 1v1 saves. But I think the better quality 1v1 saves, the more impossible, the more impressive 1v1 saves. Pour moi, I'm rolling with your boy Ter Stegen here. So Ter Stegen takes the 1v1 attribute. Footwork. Footwork, man. Look, man, guys, we're now living in the modern day of the keeper right now. And I think the keeper is almost part of the footballing team right now. And I think the your ability to for a defender to give you the ball under pressure and you're able to pass the ball around, get past the, the striker, bamboos the striker, and, and be good with your feet to bring your feet around to make sure that your team can keep possession is an important aspect. This is incredibly simple. There is zero arguments whatsoever. This isn't even a debate. There is nothing to argue about. It is overwhelmingly in this dude's favor. Um, and this is actually one of his best attributes. Ter Stegen has much better footwork than David De Gea. David De Gea's footwork is very basic for a keeper. I mean, he, he, he does what he does, but it's, it's, very, it's very basic. Stegen has superb footwork, as in right foot, left foot, he can do feints, he can bamboozle the M striker, he can pass the ball beautifully well, and you could even see that for Stegen, he is very comfortable in receiving the ball in any situation whatsoever, and he has confidence in his ability that he can move the ball around, and I think the, fact, the matter is this, because I have, because I criticized Pep when he said that, you know what, I'm not gonna, I don't feel like I can have Joe Hart, because Joe Hart isn't really good with his feet, and I said, wait a minute, why do you need to be good with your feet when you're a goalkeeper about saving? But I think as I've taken this more in now, I still believe that a keeper's protocol is to be a good shot stopper. But as I've just grown more and I've, and I've learned a bit, a bit more, perhaps I was wrong to an extent because it depends what system you're playing. You know, it depends what system you're playing. But even more so, whatever system that you're playing, having a keeper with good footwork is very helpful. What if a defender is in a tough situation? The forward pass isn't on. The side pass isn't on. And the striker is, is bearing one down. Can he be reliant upon you to pass the ball to the keeper? And the keeper, under pressure, will be able to, with his, his footwork, keep possession of the ball and not lose the ball to the striker, but also give the ball to his man as well. So I think footwork, I think right now in football, is becoming something that is much more of a um, required attribute for a goalkeeper. We're in 2019 now. We're not in 1999. 2009 football is evolving the role of the keeper is evolving and having good footwork I'm, I'm sorry guys is now becoming much more of an essential attribute so for footwork really with the boy Ter, Ter Stegen <laughs> distribution distribution so this is how well can the keeper get that ball to said dude again right now for a for a goalkeeper the position is evolving Yes, your first part of call is to save and to stop balls from coming in. But there is no point in me giving you the ball and you just kick the, the, the ball out. At the end of the day, we're trying to keep possession of the ball. So that possession of the ball can be used for us to now move, move, for, move forward and score the goal. Because you can't score when you don't have possession of the ball. So, again, for me, um, this is pretty simple. This is a pretty simple one, and I don't think this this one really has much much argument. And anybody can argue. Ter Stegen has much better distribution with the ball than De Gea. I mean, Ter Stegen can receive the ball well and can make a quality pass to each of the of the wide men. And, and it's almost as if he is an extra player that Barcelona have because when he has the ball, he can very easily come out with the ball and makes beautiful, good, good passes to. And, and he, the ball reaches their man. So he never really has a situation where he has the ball and the ball just goes out. He's looking to make the pass. And more times than not, he's making that long pass from his position to the man with the ball. De Gea, I don't really see him... I mean, sometimes he does it, but his distribution is nowhere near as good as um, Ter Stegen. I don't think his passing ability either under pressure or not even under pressure is as, is as good or as accurate as Stegen. So, with regard to distribution, I'm rolling in there with your man to Stegen. Composure. Composure. Very, very, very important attributes. And I think this one is actually pretty close, but I think with composure is... You see, for me, what made David Seaman such a, an amazing keeper was his composure. He, he never, ever, ever 
looked as if he was really trying too hard, made things too difficult. He always made things look really, really simple because of his composed attitude. And a keeper having great composure, it permeates to not only the defense, but the entire team. Because no, no, nah, this guy, he's chill. He's chill. I think both of these guys have good com composure. And I think I never see this. And I don't think these guys are guys who really get um, who wilt or bulk under pressure. And they seem to pretty much really, um, be have a very co cool, easy um, approach. But I think um, for me, the reason why I'm going with this certain keeper is I never see this. I, I've never seen this guy flinch. And in almost any situation, whether he's under pressure, coming from a, a corner kick, he's putting the ball out, making a save, I always see him fully composed in any kind of situation. So for me, with regards to composure, I'm have to roll with the boy to Stiegen. I just think that he has better composure in all situations of being a keeper than the hair does. The hair is still composed, but if I'm comparing the hair's composure in different situations in a game, um, Compared to Ter Stegen's composure, sorry man, I have to be real with you. I'm rolling with Ter Stegen's composure. So there we have it, man. Ter Stegen wins this four to one. Now I know a lot of you people will be pissed off, United fans, some even um, Premier League fans will, will be will be pissed off. But I thought that this were the right attributes specifically for a keeper to roll in, rolling with because a lot of people will say, wait a minute, it's about who is the better shortstop, and that's it, guys. It's 2019 right now. Footwork is important. <laughs> Distribution is important. Okay, those things are part of being a top keeper as well, and those attributes are very, very crucial in the modern day 2019 circa 2020 keeper. So it's how it is. Again, if you disagree and you don't believe in this, comment below. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a debate. But also as well, tell me what other football battles do you want me um, to to do? What defenders you want to see? Keepers you want to see, midfielders you want to see, number 10 you want to see, fingers you want to see, lone strikers you want to see, supporting strikers you want to see because we're riding in here with these football battles and I will see you guys again for the next edition of Football Battles right here on the Half of Football Hot. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace!